Hello and welcome Virgo to my YouTube channel <clears throat> and um, I'm doing things a bit different this time uh, just for change up. Um, normally I do an intro and then go into the inside of the cards. I've actually done the intro separately. Uh, I've actually done about the, the full moon on the 7th of May because it's in Scorpio. Pretty powerful, pretty intense. It is called the flower moon and um, Take a look at that because that gives you a very strong emotional indication as to how things are going to go this month. So that combined with the reading here um, should give you a bigger overall picture of what's going on. So take a check that out. Right. First of all, I'll start with an angel card because, as you know, I love my angels and I love giving messages from the angels. So let's have a little shuffle and see. Oh, that wants to come out. Let's have a look and see. Angel of New Beginnings. Whoa, look at that. <clears throat> the two angels looking up through the sky and look through the archway. At the possibilities are endless here. So this is all about new beginnings coming in for you. New start, fresh starts, starting again. Let's have a look and see what it says in the cards. Maybe you're thinking... Maybe you've been, you know, this lockdown has given us time to think about things. Maybe you've decided you're not in the right job and it's time to change job and you're going to start embarking on looking for something new. Maybe you want to move house and um, that would give you a new start. Or maybe you're looking at a new relationship, uh, whatever it is. Um, could be a baby coming into the family and that's a new beginning, isn't it? Beautiful. So let's have a look and see what's lovely Virgo energy. So let's have a look. Right. Okay. So first card out, um, the six of wands and the six of wands there, you see the lady standing with her arms up in celebration. And this is about celebration. Um, maybe you have found yourself in a situation where you've become very successful. Um, this, this is all about success and triumph and also being recognised. You know, other people applauding you and you feeling really pleased with yourself. And quite rightly so, whatever it is you've done, maybe it's something to do with your work. Um, maybe it's something in a relationship or the fact you've just coped uh, through this lockdown but it's very much about um, that recognition energy and being applauded and overcoming anything that's been difficult around you too. Throw your hands up in the air and let yourself go. Then we have um, the Two of Cups. Ooh. And of course the Two of Cups are about relationships, unions. Um, Perhaps you just bagged the man you've always wanted. Um, but this is definitely about unity, um, partnerships, especially in love. Feeling that second week, the joy and the hope and the union of two people. So it's a lovely card to get in a reading for relationships. It's very, very positive. So could even be that you're teaming up with somebody that you work really well with. Um, not on a, a love link, but on, you know, you work so well, you enjoy one of this company, that kind of thing. So, but it's, whichever way you interpret the Two of Cups, it's all about unions and joyfulness and happiness within. Third week, we feel a little bit, there may be something that's let you down or you feel a bit disappointed in someone. Um, this card... I feel is very much about things being in the head so the danger with this card is something doesn't quite go to plan and then you lie at night awake thinking well this could happen that could happen and we always go to the negative we never go to the positive and so this is saying I could, you could end up getting wrapped up in your mind in a situation that isn't quite going to happen the way you think so don't allow yourself to be dragged under with that negativity deal with facts 
deal with the real thing. Keep it really real. When this card appears, say to people, just keep it really real. What are the facts? And work with that. Work with the logic. Don't allow your head to spin off out of control. Um, so, yeah, just be mindful of that. We then have the Ace of Cups. Look at that. And again, this is new love joy the birth of a child um certainly the ace of cups like the two of cups can just make you feel so wonderful really really wonderful so as far as relationships concerned i feel progress there may be a little blip because if you watch the the uh, full moon video we can have some blips um but don't allow that to get in the way of what you've truly got because this ace of cups feels ends on a high um you start on a high you end on a high it's just that third week just a little bit fa um but the two of cups here you know i'll show you again where you get your arms wrapped around someone maybe it's the it's just the, the joy of meeting up with somebody after this good few weeks of being locked down like I say, my feeling is we'll start to ease out of this middle to third week of May um, in some way. And just don't allow any blips to set you off track because you end on a high. Um, it's beautiful, the Ace of Cups. I've pulled another card uh, as well to see the overarching energy. Look at this. Queen of Cups. So because of the amount of cups, it is going to be quite emotional, but more emotional on the happy side um the queen of cups is you being intuitively knowing about things feeling the emotions of things being in touch with your own emotions you could be quite reflective you could be quite um nostalgic you know this is the kind of energy that the queen of cups brings in looking back, reflecting, you could have this new joy in your life and you're going, how far have I come from the days when I thought things couldn't get any better? Um, they are now really good. So this is a very reflective, sentimental card even. You could be looking back at people you haven't seen for quite some time, feeling a bit sad. You know, we've had problems with grandparents not being able to see the grandchildren or the sons and the daughters especially when they live away and I know we've got FaceTime um, which helps but it's not the same as a real cuddle is it so quite philosophical here too that I think this whole experience that you've been through Virgo um, is making you look at things on a much deeper level emotions are important listen to your emotions listen to how you feel and just go with that feeling because it's an intuitive card there could also be news of a new baby to be born um as well with this some of you if you're looking for um as a look at this it can also be what spirit bringing in maybe some of you have been wanting to start a family you've had some disappointments here I would say that for some of you there could be a, a new beginning, a new baby to come in and bring that joy and upliftment that you've been waiting for. Um, and then the, the other side of that is looking back because once you have a new child in the family, things are never the same, whether it's your first, your second, your third. Uh, life changes and things are different. But what joy did they bring? A lot of joy. So... On that note, I will close this reading. I hope that's given you some insight to what's coming in in May. Um, if you would like a reading with me, I am keeping my readings on off, still on offer, £25 for 25 minutes. It's gone really well this month. A lot of people have been looking at relationships and where things are going and how things are going to pan out for the future, what's around the corner, work, and a lot of work issues too. So um, if you would like a reading, then you can find me on Facebook and Skull Psychic Medium and um, check out your moon sign um, or the moon energy that's coming in 
um, on the 7th of May to get a bigger picture of what's going on in your life moving forward. So thank you for dropping by. Share, like, subscribe the video. Um, really grateful. Still trying to grow this channel. Um, but really there's lots of other things on there as well that you can look at. So big hugs. And until next time, stay safe. Mwah.